Colby and Lacey, Jim just showed you the scene from the sky, a view up, but this is what it looks like on the ground. You can take a look behind me. This is another one of the homes, unfortunately, that's been lost overnight to this tornado that tore through here. As you can see, it left very little behind. Again, you can see that these are brick walls. These are brick homes, very uh, uh, sturdy homes, and again, a very indiscriminate path. There's other homes next door that, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, have all of their shingles still on them seemingly and then you have homes like this uh, we also have um, a, a big uh, electrical line that's also fallen and collapsed on that house as well but if you pan a little bit this way you can see actually that those winds that came through here that they were strong enough actually that there's that pickup truck that you can see that it's overturned it's rolled into somebody's uh, front yard a lot of these vehicles they've lost their windows they've uh, crumpled up uh, most people they've at least lost their house windows too. lots of holes and roofs um, you can see too just within this street itself that there's a lot of homeowners getting their first chance of the day to actually see this damage in the daylight, uh, not knowing exactly how bad it had gotten. Uh, police right now, they're asking everyone to stay away from this area, ranging all the way from I-240 down to Southeast 89th Street. That's along Sooner Road. Uh, so they're saying, again, if you don't live in this particular area, to please stay away at this time. Uh, for your safety as well, there's a lot of debris in the road. Officers here, I've heard them warning people uh, to be aware of popping tires, especially too. Lots of sharp things, lots of lines down. We talked to one homeowner actually who said that last night when that tornado was passing through that there was a two by four that shot through their roof of their house into a bedroom. Here's what he had to say. Didn't know what to expect, you know. Yeah. I guess we didn't get time to go to the storm shelter, you know, it just come in so quick and and it just I just heard something hit and I, before I knew it I had a bunch of trees in the living room and and so the good news that we can share right now is that only five people that we know of have been reported hurt so far, and all of those injuries are non-life-threatening. Police said they are all expected to be okay, uh, especially looking at these scenes. That is it's something to be extremely thankful for, but of course, as we learn more information, we'll bring that back to you. For now, reporting live, Matt McCabe, Oklahoma Zone, News on 9. Matt, great job just pointing out the damage. I can't believe that tundra mm -hmm. flipped over, the bricks torn off of those buildings and those homes. Uh, Andrew said, he thinks at least EF3 yeah. damage, looking we, at it. Looking for those surveys as they come out. Just uh, it's a truly miraculous thing to see that nobody was, was killed in these storms. Or especially, seriously or hurt. Or seriously hurt, hurt right. looking at the damage, yeah. Uh,